Hi everybody. Today I want to talk uh, about how to get rid of edgy ob objects. Everybody knows if you create a new primitive sphere, which kind of the standard 24 by 24, you see you have those edges all around here. Yeah, you can avoid this by creating the sphere with more segments, say 96, and more sides, say 96 as well, and accept it. And now we have a smooth and round sphere. But there are uh, often situations where you don't have, um, or where you don't use um, the primitives, um, where you want to use um, object from your library. I have this coffee cup here I found somewhere at the uh, part of Stone Mason I and uh, no, of the abandoned residence here. Yeah. And you see here already it is very very edgy. It's a low polygon object and we want to raise the polygons now. As you can see here in the mesh resolution we don't have the ability to raise the level of the mesh to, to make it smoother. We use uh, we go to edit object geometry and convert to sub D subdivision means sub D and you can see instantly it's a little bit smoother and you can see here you have the new sub uh, subdivision level for the view for the viewport which is just for this one. If you raise it you can make it smoother and smoother. You can see now it's a round circle. But uh, to, to keep things in low polygon still, it's okay if you uh, make the view sub subdivision level to zero or one to have it still like uh, a low polygon object. But you have here the render subdivision level and you put this one on two or three, something like that and um, you will see that it works already. Take a second. Here it is. And it's much smoother. Yeah, this is the final render and in the final render it uses the render sub D level minimum. And for the viewport it uses the view sub D level. So it's uh, so you can see here it's still the low polygon object and um, it um, saves you some memory for the viewport work, for the work on your project, but um, you can leave it here, zero or one, or you, whatever you prefer and what your computer is able to handle. But for the final render you need the render sub D level. And then we'll use something. You will use something like two or three. If you raise it to to the maximum of eight, it will take a lot of um, of your memory, and will take much longer. And you won't see much difference for objects like this. So leave it to two or three. That's perfect for that uh, for these cases. So I have another object. To, to show you. It's the same concept. It's very it's still it's very edgy. Here, here, here you can see the edges. And in the same moment as we use edit object geometry convert to subdivision, it still its image instantly gets round and smoother. So for the view part you can raise it by one and for the render sub D level you can see two and two and your end and your final render it will be the same and if you raise it just by one it will be better in your final render than in your viewport. Yeah, okay that's a easy thing you can use to improve your images already when it comes to edgy objects. Just um, use the uh, Edit object, oops, sorry. geometry converted to sub D to a subdivision of your mesh. 
Thank you for watching and bye bye.